Good afternoon guys, how's it going? Kevin's been lazy today, doing nothing. A little bit overcast, then the sun comes and it goes back in, but I don't care. I'm on a rest day. <laughs> and slow to move today. I come out to Ang Kong to get some lunch. So I'm gonna make this food disappear. And then I have some questions for you. I think it's raining. So a pretty heavy rain there at um, Big C Angtong. The good thing is it was coming in the right direction and it came all the way across and come here. It soaked. Everything soaked. I was just talking to the, um, the guy down the road who gave me those fruit trees. I gave him stuff, he gives me stuff. Another day he gave me the uh, durian tree and I planted jackfruit. I said, you want some jackfruit? He said, yes. So I'll take him a couple. I got like six. But, um, I'll take him on. But oh, he's got his durian in the ground now. So he says they're big enough to put in the ground. So I'm going to put mine in the ground now. It's pretty big now. But remember, it was in the, it was a, in a root ball in a plastic bag. They have those black plastic bags they put the root ball in. So I wanted to, that root ball to grow into the pot. To start to fill that pot out a bit more so it could grow some and it has so I can, I'll put it in the ground now so I'm excited because the rain come which means remember I cut the hedge the other day and cut it right back well the hedge won't grow unless I mean you can put water on it and it'll just like mm. but if it rains it'll grow otherwise it'll just sit there and wait for the next rain it won't do nothing which is great but um you know, I cut it right back the other day, so now it'll, with that rain, it'll can encourage it to uh, get busy and fill itself back out again. Today at Big C, I met a couple. Um, they say they've been here three years. He's from, um, originally from Ohio, but, um, and she's originally from here in Angtong. But they've been together for 40 years and um he's 66 i didn't i don't know what her, her age is but they've been together for 40 years and uh but they retired in um las vegas they lived in las vegas so um but they they said you know she worked for 40 years and he worked for however long he's worked but um when they retired they couldn't afford to live in america they both worked, you know, she worked, but they were together, she said together 40 years. So, and she worked while she was there, she said. And, uh, but, and so they had a house and they, but they paid, I guess they didn't buy it, they paid rent. She said between five and six hundred dollars a month rent. And they didn't have enough money to live. So they came back here and they live, they live with her sister. And, um, you know they don't have any rent they pay minimal amounts of money for bills and food um, and they live right across the street from Big C so they don't have to travel far but I don't like to say this especially when somebody's not here but it how can I say this nicely he says I don't like to go out at night because it's not safe well I don't know why he feels that but that's up to him um, you know I live here alone when I first moved here four years ago, the police said, build a wall, get some dogs. I'm like, dude. So I think it's, you know, it's all the way what's in your mind, you know. If you feel frightened, then st stuff will come to you. You know, I'm 
a little bit crazy, I guess, from my, uh, and yeah, when I was a kid, I was never cra uh, never scared of anything. I just, I would catch poisonous snakes with my hands, all kinds of stupid things I used to do. You know, green clothes for 22 years, and um, I won't tell you some of the other things I've done, but <laughs> crazy stuff. So I don't have a lot of fear. So that's one thing I don't worry about, you know? Sugar barks if somebody's outside, but normally it's another dog going by. Nobody's ever stole anything from me here. I've left tools out. I forgot to put tools away, and they're still here the, when I come out in the mornings. I've only done it once or twice, but nobody ever steals anything. So I don't know why people are so frightened, but that's, you know, up to him, whatever. But I, I mentioned that story, not to say that he was weak or anything, but just to say that the two were um, from America. She's Thai, he's American. And, um, but they worked for, she worked minimum of 40 years, and um, he worked his life and retired at, I think he said 63 or 64 or something. Anyway, um, they said they didn't have enough money on their retirement, so they came here and now they live easy. I just said that, mentioned that for, uh, as an example for people who think about retiring here. What is my point of all this? I care, if you listen to anything I've ever said, I care about people and I care about the person who's listening right now. If, if the economy is going to go bad, you know, they say, I, I worked in America in a corporate company for three years only because the way they treated me, I left. I loved my job. I worked in the characterization lab, um, working with electron microscopes and other things like that. I loved what I was doing. The money was okay when I started, but it's the way they treated us. Not just me, us all. They treated us all the same. No pay rise. And you know, they said 30 years ago, people were making the same money as they're making today. People are doing two and three jobs, four jobs, to try to make, uh, make ends meet. So, you know, the rich are richer and the poor are poor. There's a big divide between those who have and those who have not. So I'm just, I'm just want to... This is what I feel in research, and you can do, feel whatever you want, is that you can call it prepper, tinfoil hat, whatever you want. I would say think about clearing as much debt as you possibly can because you know, when, the, when, it, when it all falls apart, the first thing you're going to do is come after your homes because you lost your job. But do the best you can. Maybe get a tiny home that you can live in, you know, a trailer with a house in it or something, or just a small trailer. Get off the grid, put some solar panels on the, on the roof, etc. Um, so just think about what to do, first aid kit, preparing, etc. And I'm just saying that because I care. So attack now. <laughs> anyway, now that I've upset everybody, I'm gonna sign off. But I only said it because I care. You know, in the green clothes, be prepared. Boy Scouts, be prepared, right? So I'm just sharing what I've learned. Look after yourselves. Buckets of blessings. Rivers of peace, joy, and kindness. All the very best, guys. Take care.